Hi! In this video, we'll see how to set up Sony World Cloud Secure Edge to give access to a remote desktop via RDP. Let's get started. Once we've logged into My Sony World and accessed Cloud Secure Edge, we'll navigate to the private access menu and then infrastructure. We'll select the RDP service template. We'll give the service a name, a description that users will see, and we'll select an icon. Next, you need to select the cluster. Global Edge is the one we have to use. It's centrally managed. We don't have a choice and connectors will appear. In this case, I only have one available. The next step uh, is to select the service domain name, which is the host that Banyan Proxy will first connect to using MTLS or TLS Musa. Then we enter the real host's uh, IP address and the port it will connect to. The next step is to assign an access policy. I'm going to select the policy where everyone with high and medium authenticated level, high and medium trust level, has access. We log in with the CSC application and we see that um, once we've logged in, if we bring up the application again, under infrastructure services client, three appears. We can click the, the connect tab. button. We see there's a port 19.610 and it saved a shortcut for us. In this case, I've chosen to save it on the desktop. If I launch this shortcut, we see that a connection is made to IP 127.0.0.1 to the reference point 19.61. This is the connection made with the reverse proxy. And we see that indeed the connection is made to the desktop and it is established. And now we have access and can start working. This could be it, but let's make it a bit easier for the user. We have the option where the user doesn't have to click on the connect icon and the application connects automatically. It's important to know that this configuration is only evaluated during the device registration. So uh, we check this checkbox and at the bottom we'll also enter the port it will use to, for instance, set up shortcuts for users without them being aware that this is happening. What we're going to do now is switch organizations to deregister this device. So I'll connect to any other organization and I'm going to delete, uh, in this case, Sonic Spain Net. We confirm we want to delete it. And after the application has removed it, we'll add it again, for which we'll need our invitation code, also Sonic Spain Net. We click continue, the system asks us to authenticate again, and once we're authenticated, we look for the application and see that without doing anything, uh, client 3 is connected and the port is set to 19610. This means the user would only need to use the saved shortcut on their desktop or wherever and wouldn't need to use the CSC application at all as that connection would be established the moment they logged in. In this simple way, we simplify the user's lives a bit. And that's all I had or wanted to show you today. I hope it's very useful to you. As always, you can write your questions in the comments or contact us directly by reaching out to your sales team. Greetings.